have these really fun incense matches that I bought at a crystal shop. Basically light the match and then just let it burn. This one is, what flavor is this? Rain. Today's kind of overcast and gloomy and I think everyone's kind of feeling that too. So I kind of wanted to emulate that with our scent today. So let's get this lighted so we can get into the video. So I think it's been about 10 days or so, maybe a little bit more since I made my last skin diaries. And since then guys, my skin has improved so much and I'm sure you can tell. Um, the texture on my forehead is just completely calmed and I do still have quite a bit here, but as you can tell, it's less angry, I'd say. I do have some pimple stickers on. I have one right here because I have kind of a cystic spot that's coming in really dark and red, and I wanted to kind of help combat the hyperpigmentation before I even get it. This is what this side of my face looks like. I just wanna reiterate my routine for you guys that missed it. So the first thing that I do is I use the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I will use about three pumps or two pumps of this and just, you know, massage it in for a good five minutes and then wash it with water. You don't want this to interact with water before, like when you're lathering, you just want to do that when you're washing it off. But this has been really good. Absolutely no complaints with this. I really, really like it and I recommend it to you guys. Directly after the face wash, I usually wait until my face will dry a little bit and then I'll go in with this azaleic. <laughs> Azelaic acid suspension, 10% from The Ordinary. I love this. I really, really, really love this. Like when I first started using this, I could really tell that it was calming the texture in my skin. And like, as soon as I put it on, my skin already felt better. So I don't know what, what it is about this, but it, it has helped my skin so much, especially in combination with the other products I've been using. Directly after the azelaic acid, I will put on my Trentinoin cream. This is 0.025%. I got this prescribed to me by my dermatologist, so if you're interested in something like this, you should definitely go see one. This has been great. It did purge me the first 10 days. I was kind of seeing a lot more redness, but now, oh my gosh, like, I haven't seen this clarity in so long. Like, and I definitely think it's this because I can see it drying out the pimples and that's what this does. It kind of dries you out. And then, like I said, since that is so drying, you do have to use a moisturizer to repair your layer, your, what's it called? Your barrier at night. So I've been using this Elta MD Skincare PM Therapy, which has niacinamide. And I really love this. Usually some moisturizers can make me break out or just sit too heavy on my skin. This one absorbs right in and it makes my skin feel so soft and supple after. Genuinely like doing my skincare routine at night is my favorite thing now because it just feels so, so soothing and good. I'm orally taking doxycycline. This is, how many mg? 100 mg, I take it morning and night. This is a medication that you take for your skin. It's an antibiotic. And because of that, you have to be a little careful with how you take it. You do have to take it exactly as directed by your doctor or else you can get a lot of nausea, which I did experience um, at the beginning when I first started taking doxycycline. Around like the third day, I was stupid and I forgot to take it in the morning. So I figured, oh, no one will notice if I take them both at night. My body noticed and I got very nauseous and it wasn't pretty. So please make sure you take it correctly and please make sure to wear sunscreen with it because it does make you extremely photosensitive as I explained in my last skin diaries. A sunscreen that I really, really love and recommend to you guys is Dermalogica Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30. This one's really good and really lightweight. Does not break me out at all. I have really been enjoying this one. This one I think is for just your face. For body, I just use like whatever other one. The most notably new thing is something I kind of touched on in my last video, but I wasn't taking it. It was kind of just like a, let me throw it out there and see what you guys think. So I did get Yaz, which is a birth control that I took in the past when I was on Accutane in South Korea. They gave me Yaz and I have no complaints with it. And honestly, this is a little bit TMI, but I don't care. I have really severe periods with really bad cramping and I do feel like my acne gets really, really crazy around my periods. But for me, um, taking birth control for hormonal acne has always been something that I've done on and off and has definitely helped me sometimes. And 
maybe not helped me some other times. Like when I took ortho tricyclin, I really didn't see a difference whatsoever. I'm hoping that Yaz is the one that's good for me because I've used it in the past and I didn't really have complaints. But then again, you know, I wasn't paying that much attention. Today's my first day on Yaz. I'm on 3MG, 28 tablets, obviously. It says you have these four placebo at the end and that's when you are supposed to get your period. And it's very important to take these at exactly, exactly the same time every day. So what I do is set a timer um, for the same time every day. I take them at 9.30 p.m. right before I go to bed because it does also say that th this can make you nauseous. So taking it before bed is the best way. Something that I kind of recently got into because I feel like I've really never used to wear pimple patches. In Korea, they were a really big thing, but I really didn't get into them until recently. I found that they were really great for wearing under your mask. If you have a really bad breakout, it won't allow the mask to like rub up against your breakouts or make them more irritated. It actually protects them really well under the mask. That's a piece of advice I really, really want to share with you guys because I could definitely tell that my masks that I was wearing out, especially at my part-time job, you know, I have to wear it for like seven hours. It really was irritating my skin. So the ones I've been really loving right now are from Peach Slices. This is not sponsored. I did get gifted this, but I've been trying it for a few days now and I really, really, really love these. I also really like these from Starface. These are amazing as well. These are more discreet. You don't really see them. We have the acne spot dots. These are just for, you know, your everyday spots that have whiteheads and nothing too crazy. We also have dark spot micro darts, which I really love and that's the one I have here because this spot right here is like really dark and I don't want it to give me a scar. It says it's supposed to improve the appearance of discolored spots and saturate stubborn dark or red spots with beneficial ingredients. It also has niacinamide and vitamin C. So, oh, and hyaluronic acid, this is wonderful. This one is my favorite, but I'm running out because I, I have a lot of cystic acne sometimes. So these are something that I really like. Our deep blemish micro dots, patches for early stage or below the surface blemishes. These also have hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and Sika. It comes with nine transparent patches and these are really, really, really cool. You're basically supposed to keep them on for six to eight hours, I believe, and you can apply another one if you feel like it wasn't enough. You can also wear it overnight or under your makeup. So these are really, really great if you want to protect your acne from what's touching your face or the environment that you're in. So I really recommend these especially um, and the the deep blemish ones for those who have cystic breakouts. These have been great. Another thing I'm noticing that's happening is that as my skin becomes more clear, um, it's clearing from here first. It's, it's always been like that for me where I have it on my lower cheek or like side cheek area. So this is pretty normal for me. What I was saying was, one thing I noticed was that as my skin got more and more clear, I gained more and more of a tendency to pick at the acne that was on my face because the trentinoin does make spots kind of go away a little quicker now if they are dead and not an active breakout. I have had this strong urge to pick at my face, which I, I don't do. So I don't know why I'm suddenly doing this. I guess it could also be anxiety and stress, which I've been dealing with a lot this month. So I do think that wearing these patches really, really helps me. And you know, when you peel it off, it usually peels off like the breakout and that's what it's supposed to do. So that's what it's really been helping me with, not touching my face as much. Really don't want to pick at your acne, it can scar you, so just be careful. And if you do want to get an extraction, I do recommend going to see someone for it and not doing it yourself. The skin on your face is very, very sensitive, and I see people wash their face and they're like rubbing like crazy and stuff. Treat your face very gently. When you're using that oil cleanser, when I wash my face, I barely, barely glide my fingers over my face. I don't rub like crazy or do any like, ah, you know what I mean? No like scrubbing. You wanna do really, really gentle circular motions, always being really, really kind to your face and the skin on your face, especially around your eyes. Another thing I've been loving for around the eyes, which I talked about in my last video, caffeine solution from The Ordinary. I still use this and I still, still really enjoy it. So that was basically all the updates I had on my skin for now. It's really exciting that it's starting to clear up and I'm starting to see progress with the products I was given. 
Of course, going to a professional dermatologist is always going to help if you don't know what you're doing, and I really didn't know what I was doing. I'm really excited to see how Yaz goes as well. Let me know if you guys are on it and how it's been going for you. And I'll keep you guys updated on the status of my skin. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and please make sure to give this a thumbs up and a comment and subscribe. My Instagram is abrillrios and my Twitter is abrillluisarios. Bye, love you, see you soon.